okay let's talk tiktok which has been banned from a growing number of official devices the app will now be blocked from the entire parliamentary network and the scottish government says it won't be allowed on corporate phones meanwhile in the united states today the chief executive of tiktok is being questioned by members of the house energy and commerce committee the biden administration is threatening to ban the app over security concerns let's bring in david horn a co-founder and director of the cyber security firm cyber white great to have you on the program this thursday evening let's start off by talking about what kind of data is tiktok collecting from users first of all yeah well that's a great question tiktok collects an awful lot of personal data um, so, for example, it will uh, collect the um, where you are. It can collect your exact location, your phone's contacts, your other social media um, network connections, your age, your phone number, and, of course, payment information, as well as, of course, watching what you do and how long you interact with it for. Okay, and obviously plenty of social media apps based on people's activity have their own algorithms, don't they? So with that in mind, and this is something that the boss of TikTok in, uh, was saying earlier today, that he feels like it's being singled out. So is it any worse than some of the other social media platforms? Well, again, I guess that's a subjective uh, point. And in real terms, the answer is no. You know, all social media platforms rely on, on collecting personal data and using that to then target advertising uh, because that's how they make their money, right? It's, it's through revenue generation, through collecting that information and targeted advertising. And it's not encrypted, is it, uh, unlike other apps? It, it's not encrypted end-to-end, -end, no. And that there, and thereby lies that one of the challenges and in, in that, that, that information could potentially be intercepted. Okay. So why do we think then that the UK and the US uh, officials in both of these countries appear to be so concerned about the TikTok links to China? The, the real concern, I think, stems not so much in that it's a social media app, that the concern stems from the very fact that it is Chinese owned. And, you know, the, the Chinese national security legislation clearly states that if a, if a Chinese company identifies information that it can believe to be a threat to national security, it must therefore divulge it. We've got to remember, of course, this is very much a one way street, isn't it? Because, you know, we're talking about the West banning a Chinese app uh, or, or, or restricting access to it. But of course, China has banned all West apps for many a year. So, so you know, it, it, it's not a um, it's not a tit for tat. It just doesn't you don't get the uh, Western apps in China. OK, really good to speak to you. David Horn, co-founder and director of cybersecurity firm Cyberwhite. Thank you very much indeed. The news.